We started it, um, as we said, we thought it'd just be a little local thing in Stockport. Right. And within two months, we were hosting UK national courses and um, we've recently hosted in Australia. We went to Sydney and did one over there. You've gone global? The, yeah, we've got trainers in, in there and we've done um, Ireland. We've worked regularly in Scotland as well, up there. John, so. that's incredible, isn't it? Absolutely yeah. incredible. But it just shows the need is there. Oh, the needs are, I yeah. probably naively assumed that what you're striving for was already in place. You would have thought so. Yeah, it's not naivety at all. When we put Millie in nursery, we just we thought it was a given that they were trained and it wasn't until um, a month or so after they passed away that we actually found out the legislation and that's obviously what we're trying to get changed with our yeah, petition. because that, that's the next thing. The petition yeah. is out there. Almost got enough signatures, haven't you? Yes. You're nearly, nearly, nearly yeah. there. Um, and that's that keeps you going too, doesn't it? It does, yeah. If, if we can get that changed, I mean, there's so many people in this country that want to get this law changed to make sure all nurse and nurses um, are trained in paediatric first aid, you know, and like you said, it's, uh, people don't realise that that's the case. People just presume that everybody's trained and it's not. Yeah. And obviously you want your children to be in the best care possible when you're leaving with somebody, don't you? Well, of so. course you do. Of course you do. Sarah, why do you think that Joanne deserves to win this? Oh, so many reasons. I mean, just in itself, since the charity's been going, they've saved well over 100 lives. That's incredible, isn't it? But Joanne herself, I mean, you've got to bear in mind, I ask any parent out there, if you lost your child in that way, could you set up a charity within sort of two months, go through qualifications to carry out training, go out training everyone? Um, and this has all been in the period where, you know, Joanne is actually grieving, and I yeah. think sometimes people forget that. Um, obviously, as a friend, I've watched her with her ups and downs, yet she gets up every day, goes out, trains people, um, and she's talking about it every day. And I, I, I couldn't imagine doing that myself. I just... But, you know, she's doing it so that it never happens to anyone else, and that's why I nominated her. I just want to give something back to Joanne to just say, you know, everything she's doing is incredible, and any parents out there, you know, we've got her to thank for yeah. the awareness she's doing. No, absolutely, she said saved lives. You yeah. do have some really good news, don't you? We do, yeah. Um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, we're actually 20 weeks pregnant. Yeah, you're having a baby, that's fantastic. Yeah. You've had the scans and everything's good. Yeah, I'm a little oh, boy. You're having a wee boy? Yeah. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. That's amazing. That is amazing. What a Thank lovely, you. lovely thing to happen to you. Couldn't happen to a, a better, a better deserving mum, that's Thank for you. sure. And good luck to you, and especially good luck with the, with the petition.